July 9th, 2021. And it has arrived. MTV Elite. So uh, we got our Bass Elite box in the mail today. So stay tuned and we're going to check out what's in July's Mystery Tackle Box. their top tier version of their mail order subscription box and uh, you order and you get these once a month and they just throw in a bunch of baits you know it's pretty boiler bait a whole bunch of companies have these uh, monthly subscriptions we do have our what's in the side the box card so we got that and it looks like we got a, a handful let's see two four six eight nine baits today all right nine's my lucky number so uh Let's see what else we got in here. Anything off the top? Just baits on top. So we'll start with the baits and we'll dig our way through and I'll, I'll explain all the things that are in the box. So right off the top, we've got a live target hollow body commotion shad. Live target. Let's see, what's this? Three and a half inch, five eighths of an ounce. Uh, variable sinking speed, so it's a sinking bait. And color is color <laughs> I guess color is color uh, but uh, it doesn't have an actual name for the color it just says color and it says color in French so we've got this big willow maybe is it a willow leaf or it's not a willow leaf Colorado or it's a uh, Indiana blade it should be a Colorado alright so what do we got Okay, so double frog hooks on the on the back. Quite a gap between those frog ho uh, hooks. It's weighted on the belly, so it's keeled down. Let's see, soft body frog design with a yeah, it's Colorado blade on the tail. So it's that's a cool little top water bait. Interesting new design. Um, done up as a bait fish. So I'm gonna say this is more your bluegill pattern um, than anything. Definitely can see that in the height of the summer with the lily pads and grass up on the surface. The live target is $14.49. Um, really cool. I actually, I kind of like this. We'll see how it throws. Um, I do like this over a lot of the soft plastic frog hook fish baits where they sit like a dead floating bait fish. I like this idea because this is more like what you'd work it as a jerk bait. Um, you know, properly swimming. So we'll see how that works. Next up from 13 Fishing, we have a 1-3 Fishing's j Jabber Jaw uh, for $11.99. 1-3 Fishing. All right, so this is the Jabber Jaw. It's the 60 size. All right, so this is a 60 size. It floats. It's a 9-16 ounce weight, weight bait. Um, crack into this citrus shad color, two and three eighths inches long, nine sixteenths ounce has four or number four hooks. Excuse me. So there's another little top water wake bait, crank bait. Let's see if this has got rattles. One, one little muted rattle in there, a low thud knocker. So that's cool. Really awesome paint job. Oh, and it's got an articulating blade in the front. So the, the square bill blade is not directly hard ta attached to the, uh, to the bait. It actually has play in it. And you have that same, um, you know, that uh, vibrating jig style connection with the uh, clasp there to tie onto for, for more mobility. That's awesome. Citrus Shad, great color. Um, I like Citrus Shad things, although, you know, it's not something that you see a lot of in my waters. It's mostly bluegill, um, bluegill, crawfish, pumpkin seeds. Those are pretty much the standard uh, forage. 
of course we have trout stocked and natural um, so that's kind of cool the jabber jaw it's really pretty nifty little bait I like that too so that's eleven dollars ninety nine cents for that bait um, next up reaction strike called the ranger reaction strike Reaction Strikes Ranger. So it's katana hooks. This is a two to four foot diving. Very good tone. Now this is definitely more match the hatch for my area. Um, the brown root beer top, white cream, white belly, shad spot right there. Good rattles. Good rattles. Not bad at all. Reaction Strike. Facebook and uh, out. Facebook and Instagram on there, and it's stuck to my finger. <laughs> All kinds of messing up my skin this year. Oh, not bad. Two to four foot diving crankbait. That is uh, pretty cool. I do like that color too. That's awesome. And again, that was six dollars ninety nine cents for that. So the top three baits I've already paid for this box because I pay about forty three dollars, forty two dollars and some change uh, per box. So you know, fifteen, twelve. And six, you know, thirty odd dollars right there. Um, next up again for six ninety nine from Lake Lunkers. Lake Lunkers, we got ourselves a popper. This is called the Chugger. So you got a two and seven eighths inch, two fifths of an ounce, top water popper. This is a really cool nostalgic color tone too. Um, this is something that I grew up fishing when I was younger. It's got rattles. The cool, interesting thing about these, um, there's that nostalgic red face front, silver back. You also got them with, you know, the pencil poppers with the red and white. Um, definitely saltwater areas was always red and white. But the cool thing about it is, as you see, there are these channels throughout that as you're popping it, it will take in those water through the channels and actually spray the water out of the of the bait in the front so that's supposed to help uh, I believe from what I recall from this design it's supposed to help it um, track a little bit better when you're popping and not blow out and flip over it's supposed to hold its true you know its true trajectory a little bit better um, it's got a low set a low set hook tie um, so that means it's it's going to definitely slurp a lot more water and ow like I said, I keep hitting my freaking skin. <laughs> Super sharp hooks, I will say that, as it's grabbing every chance it gets. Um, definitely weighed, weighed down. So that's that's really cool. So uh, sits pretty parallel in the water. I like my my poppers to actually sit butt down. So I would probably um, either change out the back hook to a heavier treble, uh, and this way it's definitely going to seat this way and chug a lot better. Or, uh, you know, get the, um, the lead strips and put a little lead strip on the tail end of it and sink that butt end down a little more. Other than that, I like the pattern. I like the color. $6.99, definitely a cool price for that. All right, we got five to go. Next up, Guggen Squad's Hammer, or excuse me, Hummer. Hummer, this is their, their buzz bait. So you got the 3 8 ounce Guggen Squad Hummer in blue, black with blue flake. Um... Uh, you know, it's their, it's their buzz bait. Uh, I love buzz baits. I'm more of a frog person over a buzz bait. I like spinner baits, and I like, if I'm going to throw a buzz bait, I'm more apt to throw a pompadour. Uh, that's just me. Or even, um, you know, um, something as uh, silly as, um, I don't know, I like even a beetle spin or something like that over these. Um, but I do have to get more into throwing my, my buzz baits. I need to start playing more with buzz baits. Buzz baits are an excellent bait for skipping under docks and things, surprisingly. Um, the problem with a lot of buzz baits is their castability into wind. Uh, you, you, you have a weight that turns around, especially if you have a, a bulky soft plastic on the end, but you have these 90 degree blades and, and everything, it'll catch the wind and it just kind of flops around during the cast. So casting distance out of a, out of a buzz bait is always less than like a jitterbug or 
uh, a pompadour, like I like to throw. So that's why I think traditionally I've gone with pompadours and gone with jitterbugs, uh, because you can cast them a little bit further uh, than these. But from a boat, these are great for skipping and underneath a cover, underneath docks, etc. So the Hummer from Guggen's squad is six dollars forty nine cents. Next, we got another high ticket priced item: the Westons. This is one of their soft plastic entries, the Creecraw. So Weston baits. This is a three and three eighths ounce five pack. And these smells like licorice. Yep, smells like licorice. So we've got, what color they got on this? Um, June Bug, and this is what they call the Crew, C-R-E-C-R-A-W, Cree Craw. So, I do like clamshells. It's not going to last that long in here. What do we got? This is a really, really nice design from, thir from, uh, from Weston. So, you've got your big craw paddles, you know, pinchers. It's got these really nice little micro feathery appendages on the sides, inside and out. A large, a large I-beam constructed water catching flange here. So that's definitely going to cause a lot of kick. You've got four little tentacles on the inside here. Uh, break those apart. Real tiny little finite tentacles. One, two, three, four. You've got these little hairs on these bulbous mid pincers, and then you've got eight little uh, two, four, yep, four on top, four, four on each side. These little leglets with little round spherical balls on it, and then you got a lot of ribbing here for um, for some uh, air air catching and bubble trail disbursement. And it does have a small hook slot in the belly and a hook placement notch on the top. This is pretty darn cool. It's, it's they're calling it, I, I call this the spray, uh, spray grass color. Um, they call it their June blood bug. Um, I guess so because it's got a little bit more purple than a traditional spray, uh, spray grass. But uh, really, really cool. Really cool bait. That's an interesting design. I, I've never seen anything in the craw soft plastic that has this many nuanced little micro uh, appendages and, and, and things to flutter. That'll be interesting. That'll be interesting. We'll, we'll, we'll try that out sometime shortly. Definitely into that. Soft plastics are pretty much my bread and butter uh, when it comes to fishing freshwater. Uh, I was always a live bait person in saltwater, but uh, uh, this is just simple to do. You know, throw on a Texas rig. Strong licorice black licorice smell, which is okay. I'm not a big fan of licorice, but I know the fish love it, so we'll go with that. Licorice and garlic. Can't go wrong with those two scents. So from Weston, again, five five pack, which is good, and the Weston's Creek Craws are $5.99. That's a pretty darn um, good price range for a Weston bait, because Weston's always sell at a high premium price. Uh, Cabin Creek Baits, the Express Worm. Cabin Creek down here. Oh, we got our double, double digest at the bottom. So we've got some little finesse uh, worms. This is a full pack, of course. Not a sample pack. Let's see. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Twelve pack of these little Cabin Creek finesse. They're um, regular standard pour, you know, hand pour style. They got the flat top. And then they're round on the bottom from the mold. So these are hand pour mold style. Uh, that's pretty cool. And they're in your typical green pumpkin with a little bit of black flake. Definite, definite great bait. Uh, definite fish catchers. Those, the cabin, or excuse me, yeah, the cabin's creek baits. They're $5.49. Two more to go. We have the Phoenix Bait Ringworm. So we got Phoenix Baits. These are cool. Wow, okay. So from Phoenix, these are a small little finesse ringworm. It's an eight pack, four inch, electric blue pearl. So they've got your electric, your purplish tone here with a bunch of blue flake. And then on the tails, you've got these ribbon tail curls that are done in this clear pearl uh, plastisol. So that's awesome. That's really cool. I like that. And 
if these float really well, I always like things. Remember I said uh, when we got that all black um, uh, plasma tail, but it didn't have any plasma to the tail? This is what I'm talking about. I like a dark tone with a white tip. If, instead of getting an all black plasma tail, they should have given us a black uh, worm with a white tip on the, on the end. Um, but anyway, I digress. The Phoenix Baits, eight pack of four inch ringworms with the cool uh, uh, ribbon tails on the tail end. These are $4.49. And last, we got a bonus. So not one, but a twin pack. A twin pack. So they must have thrown two in by accident or they stuck together uh, when packaging. For $1.80, or for this case, uh, $0.90 cents each, I got two packs of Spear Point Performance Hooks. Now, I like these Spear Points. Um, they've got an interesting shank to them, uh, interesting design. The idea behind it is once it gets through the bony uh, plate, it's supposed to hold better. Um... So instead of your typical EWG just being a round bend, they have this, this cut back. So your bend of your hook comes up, but instead of it going straight up and into your hook point, it kicks back out and then comes back at a sharp angle. And the idea is once it penetrates, it lodges and locks in here. So the fish is more pinned against the barb and the shank here of the, of the hook it's less likely to be able to maneuver and wiggle it out or slide it down and then back off. So it kind of adds an extra angle of uh, attack after penetration that makes it more difficult to rework that hook back out the way it came. Um, that being said, it should, in theory, be a little bit more difficult in removing the hook because, especially if you get in the old palm or something, because uh, you're going to have a little bit more difficulty reworking it back down and around and back out the way it came. That's not bad. Uh, what else we got in the bottom? Those are $1.80 for the single. We got two packs, so think of that as you want. It's $1.80 a pack. And we got, <laughs> like a ninja, two stickers. <laughs> so we got a double pack of stickers, so somebody's definitely going to enjoy uh, having one of these stickers. Catch Co. Ninja Fisherman. It's pretty cool. <laughs> or river dancing, I don't know. Is, would you say that's a ninja with the uh, with the face buff? Or would you say the guy's river dancing? <laughs> Who knows? Bottom here, we also got our Dibble Digest uh, this month. Uh, best pond baits for catching bass, wacky rig Senko spinner bait, uh, shallow crank baits, finesse jigs. I can go with that. Uh, filleting fish steps, uh, gliding the zigzag, seven angler or seven ways anglers make a difference this is pretty cool and uh yeah that's awesome so the dibble digest always full of helpful tips and tricks and techniques uh we got ourselves our guggen rods list so you can uh you know if you pick out your guggen rod remember a while ago we got those stickers relating to each one of these you've got your green versions in their low price point and you've got your gold tier in their higher price point rods with better blanks and then of course they have their list of categories, their muscle rod, their go-to rod, their finesse rod, etc. And lastly, in the bottom of the box, <laughs> wish I'd seen this in the top, but there is the, uh, like I say, sometimes these MTBs, they'll have a little pamphlet in there alluding to an item in the box that is uh, sort of like a, uh, a press release. So you got your jabber jaw, and then they show you places to fish the jabber jaw. So you get it in the pack, they give you a little pamphlet describing its action, what it does, what its purpose is, how it was designed, and then they show you a little map of a traditional, you know, Highland Reservoir lake style and uh, where you should fish them. And to be blatantly honest, every bait can be fished everywhere. Every bait can be fished everywhere. You can fish a treble hook bait in grass if you don't mind picking grass a lot. Uh, along wood, if you don't mind losing them, getting hung up. They can be fished, and you can catch fish with any bait anywhere, anytime. Uh, it's just a matter of fishes, uh, you know, understanding fishes' uh, uh, drives and what is going to attract them. That kind of clues you into using the most effective bait in those certain situations. That all said, 
What do you think about the July box? Not bad. I think this is actually better than, well, certainly better than a June box. We got more baits in it. Uh, I got bonuses. I got two furs, which is, I got two two furs. I got double hooks and double stickers. So I can't complain about that. Love crankbaits. That jabber jaw with the articulating blade, that's going to be interesting. I'm really interested in these Weston soft plastics. That's pretty cool. Um, they say EWG at Texas Rigged or Carolina or put on a jig head. I'm probably going to throw this on a stand-up jig head or a little ball head jig and uh, kind of just finesse it because I want to see how the uh, how that works. Um, other than that, the only other interesting thing is Live Target really also caught my eye. Um, that's interesting. Like I said, this is more the pattern and design that I approve of over a lot of the ones that were just the floppy fish on its side. Um, I don't know, something about it. I mean, if I want a frog, I get a frog. I don't want a frog that's shaped and painted like a bluegill. If I wanted to fish a bluegill, I'd get a bluegill swim bait, and I'd fish it that way. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's just me. I'm, I don't know. It's just me. Anyway, thanks again for spending some time with me. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, give me your thoughts down below. What do you think of this July box? Um, is there any baits in there that, that you can give me uh, clues as to where I should try them? Uh, what kind of cover or what have you? Or have you ever used any of these baits that I showed you, specifically like that, uh, that uh, 13 Fishing's Jabber Jaw? Um, at any rate, as always, I appreciate you spending some time with me. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed at all yet, uh, do so. Like I said, about two-thirds of the people who watch these videos don't seem to be subscribed. And as always, I do plenty of giveaways, and I intend to do a lot more giveaways as time goes on. And the faster we build the bigger community, the bigger the prizes will be. Because obviously, you know, it's all, it's all based on, uh, on uh, you know, value. If, if, if I have 1,000 subscribers, I want 1,000 subscribers to have a chance at a big prize worth, uh, worth subscribing. Um, so at any rate, I appreciate it. And as always from me to you, tight lines, and I'll catch you on the next cast. Peace, alcoholics.